Hi, my name is Jim Stubbs, and I'm with CDS John Blue Kevney. We're out of Huntsville, Alabama, and this morning what we're doing is we're showing our new liquid blockage monitoring system. The advantage of our system is it's for blockage, which blockage means not just that you've lost your flow, but you have actually potentially lost a portion of your flow, and we can tell you immediately that, in fact, you're not putting on the fertilizer that you would want or the chemical or the pesticide, and we can do it very, very simply. What we're doing is we're using our technology of our visigages, and we're monitoring that by putting a magnetic ball on the inside of the visigage, which is then picked up through a little module in the back that has seven micro switches. The micro switches actually detect where the ball is and that allows us to know what the flow is. You can manually set where you want your flow and if the flow decreases below the level that you have set, you're going to get a visual and an audible warning that in fact you're not putting on the fertilizer you want. What we do is we have two systems. One is a wired system, and it's got a little monitor like this that's gonna be in your cab. The kit comes complete with the mounting brackets, everything that you're gonna need. It just bolts up to your visigages. You can use your visigages that you have already, or you can buy new visigages. To set the level, all you do is you push your button. It cycles through the various levels that you might want. And what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna set this for level three, and uh, then I'm gonna actually create a blockage. When I create the blockage, we're gonna be able to see exactly what's gonna be visual in your cab. Okay, there's three. This is a little valve, and the valve then I'm gonna turn off. When we turn it off, you're gonna see, in fact, that the flow has dropped. There's a slight delay. After the delay, in the back, you're going to get a flashing on the actual line that is blocked or has a low rate. You're gonna get a warning signal in the cab. You're gonna get an audible warning. It's a little noisy in here, but you could hear that. You silence that, you stop. You can go into the back. This is still gonna remain flashing. You clear your problem and you've reset your complete system. We also do this on an iPad version. On the iPad version, you actually get a visual display, and we're gonna show you the same thing. We're gonna block one of the rows, and when we block the row, you're gonna be able to see the flow actually decreases. In this particular case, we set the level that we wanted at a level two. It actually falls below that. We get an, again, an audible alarm, we get a flash in the back. That flashing continues till you actually reset the system. When you reset it or fix the problem, it automatically comes back, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna silence the alarm, and we're back functioning again. We can do as many as 96 rows. With the iPad version, we can lay this out in two products, 48 each, with the manual system or the wired system, you're going to be able to do that many outlets in one standard box. The pricing between the two is identical. Both are listed at the same price. This comes complete where the iPad version, you're going to have to buy your iPad. We think this system was going to save your expenses. You're going to know immediately you have an issue. You're going to be able to stop, solve it, and go on. You're not going to waste any money farming. Thank you.